So recently, a bunch of unaired pilots found their way online, dating back to the 90s. What I want to do is, look at these pilots and determine two things. One, did it have potential? And two, how different would popular culture be if this pilot was picked up for series? Today, we're opening up the pilot vault and looking at the pilots for a show called The Elvira Show. A CBS pilot filmed a few years after the movie, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. The plot of the sitcom has nothing to do with the movie, but it's the same character and same actress. Now, immediately, I notice that this show has a lot in common with Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and yet, it predates that show by three years. So I wanted to talk about the connections that these two shows have. The Elvira Show stars Cassandra Peterson as Elvira and Catherine Helmond as Aunt Minerva. Now, I'm going to be honest on top of this video. This was one of the best unaired pilots I've seen so far. The writing is incredible and it's a real shame that this show was never picked up for series. Elvira isn't very well known in the UK, as much as she is in America anyway. I mean, she's still a household name over here, but I don't think anyone knows what she really does or what what she's from. If this pilot had went to series and ran for a few years, then there's no doubt in my mind that it would have been incredibly successful over here. Everyone would be talking about Elvira to this day. This pilot was certainly ahead of its time, and would most definitely be a hit if it was aired today, especially if they could do it on like HBO or something can be even more mature. See, it's strange because people never really mention it when it comes to talking about comedy icons. But Cassandra Peterson is absolutely one of the funniest people on the planet. Her comedic timing, along with her physical abilities and facial expressions, they're all so unique and extraordinary. I absolutely adore this woman, she's incredible. Anyway, let's open up the pilot vault and delve into the Elvira show. We start with Elvira telling someone's fortune with a crystal ball, and she's asking if her customer knows anyone by some typical men's names. What I love about this opening joke is that she fails and the humour comes from her being bad at her job. She's not a perfect witch, she's basically a phony and it immediately establishes the most important thing for this sitcom, making people laugh. How about the Bob? No. Uh, Jack? No. Mike? No. You don't know anybody named Mike? No. Girl, you gotta get out of the house more. We meet Minerva and she has so many great one-liners. They both do. Honestly, I can't stress enough how well written this pilot is. We are introduced to Renfield, a talking cat, not the Nicolas Cage movie. He's very reminiscent of Salem, the talking cat from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Like I said before, this pilot was made three years before that show. The coincidences don't end at the cat's fair colour and the fact that it's able to talk. Renfield has this sarcastic and critical personality, just like Salem did, and even the voice is close to identical. Or until you need glasses. <laughs> Oops. But I have worse news. I have to go to the bathroom. And the premise of the show itself, two witch ants with a niece and a talking cat, that's just Sabrina the Teenage Witch. So, how is this possible? Well, the Elvira show was inspired by the comic. You see, back in the 60s, Archie Comics started publishing stories of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. So that's why it has so much in common with the show, because they both drew inspiration from the same comic. Cassandra most definitely read the comics, I'd love it if someone could ask her about it. I was a big fan of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. They used to do reruns of it on Nickelodeon back when I was a kid, but I feel like I would have liked the Elvira show even more, as it has a certain something special. It does more than just imitate Sabrina the Teenage Witch, before they're even aired. Its use of humour transformed it into the funniest sitcom I've seen in a very long time. So you may be wondering, if this pilot was so funny, then how come it was never picked up? Well, there's actually a brilliant story about that which we'll delve into in a moment. We are then introduced to Elvira's niece, Paige, which was originally a role intended for Hilary Swank, but the producers failed to see a potential. Yeah, she's hot, okay? Because if you were saying 
then Hillary Swank isn't hot, then you're saying I'm not hot, because obviously I'm not as hot as Hillary Swank. Well, they clearly chose poorly there, didn't they? Years later, Hillary Swank approached Cassandra Peterson in a gym to say hello, and Cassandra said, You were so talented. I hope you're still in show business. What are you doing now? Hillary's response was, Well, I just won an Academy Award. Some of the jokes in this pilot are quite risque, with Elvira mishearing I'm your niece as an instruction to get on her knees. The comedy really is the key to all of this. Gotta sound like Georgia Lucas talking about Jar Jar. But honestly, this pilot is better than a lot of crappy comedies that are on TV nowadays. Maybe back then it was far too risque for network television, but now it's certainly fine. Elvira has a guy come in and ask for a love potion, and because because of some comedy hijinks, she believes that he's having problems in bed and needs Viagra to sleep with her. It turns out he's a cop trying to use a love potion for some kind of sting operation. It's really fun seeing Elvira panic and get up to sitcom nonsense. The potion she gives the cop turns him stiff as a board. Yeah, they make some jokes about that. And it leads to Minerva delivering the brilliant line, you could get the chair for turning him into a table. Who wrote this script? Whoever it is, I hope they went on to do some really great things, because this is perfectly written. Unlike some of the other pilots that were clearly thrown out after the second draft, this one is fantastic. It's revealed that Paige is a witch too, which I genuinely didn't see coming, despite the similarities to Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I thought they were really gonna go with a normal girl has to live with two witches, but no, they went full on Sabrina. It's Sabrina! It's Sabrina! Elvira is arrested for making someone ill with one of her potions, but because of some sitcom plot, she gets away with it. She delivers some truly incredible lines in this pilot. Here's two of my favourites. This is a bust! No, this is a bust. <laughs> How could you have kissed that trash? Hey, honey. At least trash gets picked up sometime. These two examples are just a small glimpse at the huge amount of jokes delivered in the episode. I never recommend you watch most of the shows I cover on Pilot Vault, but this one, you simply have to. It's some of the greatest TV I've seen in a very long time. I should have mentioned, I'm not a big fan of innuendos. I think the Carry On films are awful and far too loved, but this show used innuendos really well. Every joke that they delivered landed. It truly is something special. So it's time to address the elephant in the room. If this pilot was so brilliant, then why was it not picked up for series? Well, there's a good reason. Years ago, Cassandra Peterson was approached by Brandon Tartikoff, the then president of NBC, to develop a sitcom with a similar premise to this one. Initially, she declined the offer, but later warmed up to the idea. But by the time she warmed up to the idea, Brandon had already left NBC. The head of CBS then came to her and assured her that this show would be picked up for multiple seasons. But after the pilot was filmed, the head of CBS fell violently ill, so they brought in a guy who oversaw sports programming as an interim president until the other guy got better. But this guy wasn't a fan, saying, we can't have boobs like that on TV. The other people in the meeting room were fuming and walked out of the board meeting in protest, but this didn't change the guy's mind. The people at the board meeting truly believed in this idea, so what did they do? Well, they snuck off to ABC, and that eventually led to Sabrina the Teenage Witch which explains why there's so many similarities between these two shows. Cassandra Peterson was fuming that they basically ripped her off. If you're thinking, I swear I've heard this story before, then it's because it was basically the plot of an episode of Seinfeld in the 90s. In fact, it was 93, the same year it happened in real life. In the episode, Jerry and George pitched an idea for a sitcom to NBC, and the president was really keen to pick her up for a series. But then he gets lost at sea, and is never seen from again, and the person who replaces him doesn't like Jerry's sitcom, so rejects the show. I can't believe Cassandra Peterson had an episode of Seinfeld happen to her in real life. What are the odds of that? But anyway, where does this pilot rank? on the list of unaired pilots that we've looked at so far. Well, 
Do we even need to debate it? This deserves a number one slot. It's not only the greatest unaired pilot I've covered in this series, by a long mile, but it's also some of the best TV I've seen in a very long time. I am truly gutted we never got more of this. It is an absolute travesty. Right, subscribe, help us reach 4k, we're gonna make it. Right, I'll let you go. Bye.